Boy, the snow coming down so hard right now in New York. Look at this road cam. WABC on the highway north of New York City. Commute going to be slick and slippery for so many. Ice over half an inch right now. You say so many because we're going to take a look at Worcester, Mass. right now near Boston where snow is coming down thick and fast. They're expecting over a foot of snow there. ABC's Ginger Z leads our extreme weather team covering this storm for us outside. Good morning, Ginger. Hey, good morning, Robin. It is pelting me in the face. At first, it was heavy snow. Now it is sleet. And right here in Times Square, come with me. I got to show you what happens when you mix the two. It is the slushiest, sloppiest mashed potato mess that is dangerous right now. You just saw that camera. I want to go back to it because not just in Westchester County, not just in New York City, but across a huge area. We're going to see this storm this uh, morning throughout the morning hours really and afternoon you can see that radar picture stretches from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to Maine and this is going to be with us through the late morning hours see the pink that's when it goes from snow to dangerous and deadly ice again not just here in New York but back into Pennsylvania we've already seen deadly accidents I want to take you to all the stories right now this morning the Northeast Blanketed in snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Temperatures hovering around that dangerous 32 degree mark, forcing drivers to crawl along roadways and causing fatal accidents like this one that backed up the Pennsylvania Turnpike near Harrisburg for more than six miles. Frosty scenes like this being played out across almost 20 states. Cars sliding on the slick streets of Wichita, Kansas. In Kansas City, this Southwest Airlines plane got stuck in the snow right on the runway. And in Topeka, Kansas, a semi truck slamming into a snow plow, spilling 180 gallons of diesel fuel, forcing the highway to close for hours. And a chilling scene in North Texas, a police deputy and three bystanders helping a driver from one icy accident were hit by a sliding 18 wheeler, killing one person and injuring the others. Uh, the roadway was very icy and uh, once he saw the, the crash, he applied his brakes but was unable to stop. With all these back to back snowstorms, many towns are now running low on salt. In Burton, Michigan, that shortage means skyrocketing prices. Just yesterday, the price doubled actually. So if it costs $300 to fill a truck up, now it's $600. So let me show you something because everybody asking me, when is it going to be gone? Most importantly, first I got to show you though, because we've got it in Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, really heavy snow through the morning hours, but it's by 3 p.m. We stopped the clock there that it has moved out of New York City and behind it, very cold air spills in. Tonight, New England even becomes clear. And there's the snow forecast, heaviest happening in New England, Western Mass Massachusetts, also parts of Western New York, six to 12 inches. We've got to get just 30 miles north of me where it is not sleet, it is snow. and we find Lisa Calagrassi from WABC. Good morning, Ginger. And you know, Monday, Connecticut got more than seven inches of snow and round two is hitting with a vengeance. This is what's fallen just in the morning hours, that heavy, icy snow. Let's take a look at the road conditions. Connecticut Governor Dan Malloy telling people, stay off the roads, let the plows do their jobs. Schools have been canceled. They have suspended bus service. They are also reducing train service throughout the morning. This has been a very difficult morning for the snowplow drivers. It has been very heavy. And let's take a look at the plows, a live look at the plows doing their job right now. They are out here in full force, and now the snow has turned ice, which is making it even more treacherous. Ginger, back to you. Lisa, thank you so much. You know, Boston getting hit too, and we're gonna be covering this all morning. You can hear it, George, the sleet hitting my hood. We've got a lot more to talk about in your nation's weather, so stick around. We sure can. Get inside, Ginger. Let's go up to Boston, though, right now. ABC's Rena Ninen is there, and Rena, boy, it is coming down hard. It is coming down, George. Four shirts, two pairs of pants later. I am still cold. A snow emergency already in effect here, just in time to snarl the morning commute. If you are taking a flight, be sure to check with your airlines. The highest number of cancellations coming down at New York's LaGuardia, uh, New JFK, and also New Jersey's Newark and Boston. FlightAware.com says more than 2,100 flights delayed, more than 2,100 canceled. Boston public schools are closed today. Here in Boston, two inches of snow expected every hour, and I'm told George it will be dramatic hour by hour.